Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. Right guys, I think I've got a problem, and it's not the fact that I still play GTA 5 or even crippling depression, but I know this sounds really cringe. I think my aim is sometimes too good. And before you laugh at me, please hear me out. As the many videos on my channel show, GTA is filled with models, and sometimes people can do a really good job of hiding this. If all you have is trigger bot and no sort of health or damage modifiers, it can be really hard to detect. Oh. That may not even be a this guy's got stuff. aim bot. Some GTA players such as you versus Pro have naturally really good aim, so the likelihood of them missing shots is really low. Yes sir. Yes sir. So when you got players that are this good naturally, and the fact that aimbot on GTA isn't perfect, you can still miss shots with it. It can make judging who's cheating and who's not really, really hard. And that's kind of the toxic thing about GTA PvP on PC. You can fight someone and you don't know whether they're either really, really good at the game or they're just using cheats. And that's where the point of this video comes in. Shit on. Now many of you guys know that I get accused of cheating quite a bit, but mainly by people that don't really understand the game. They don't understand that it's really easy to hit someone standing still. Now sometimes even my aim surprises me. Fucking hell, that's nice. Okay, oh my god, that was insane. And when I have a good aim day, where I hit shots like that all the time, I can't lie, sometimes it does look quite fishy. Now the fight that I'm going to show you is an extreme example of this. I get myself into a 2v1, and both players don't even seem to be that bad. They also know who I am, but don't recognise my account that I'm playing on. I just want to mention that there's no audio for any of these clips, because, annoyingly, it just didn't get recorded, so I've only got the video. But the way this started, I was just messing around with an RC tank. I've never used it properly, I just wanted to see how strong it was. Now I do end up getting a few kills with it, then I realise I might be able to get a good normal fight out of it. But for now, I'm going to let the video do the talking, and I'll only bust in when you need me. Enjoy the music.
I then decide to tell them that I'm not actually aimbotting, and this and all hope has guy doesn't seem to believe me. I tell him I'm just good, and he doesn't seem to believe that at all. Now whenever you should do this, whenever you should tell people my YouTube channel, but I decided to do it in this instance, and he decided to joke about it, saying that he was you versus pro, as if, well, I'm not Mutmus. But I turned to look at the account that I used in my latest video, as it was the same one as the one that I'm using right now, and he said that if I was actually me, he would never watch my videos again, because he was so adamant that I was cheating. He said he's fought pro players before, and the hit rate that I had was impossible. He does raise a good point saying that I never use RC tanks, and that is true. This is literally the first time I've ever used one. But then he asked me to prove myself in a 1v1. So we go to the docks, and here's what happens. Now if we count the score at just the docks, technically he won, but the score is 25-19 and I don't really want to play anymore, but he says we can play at LSIA and I quite enjoy that, so off to continue the fight at the airport. Slow straight for now is how am I struggling so much? So I don't know if you could hear, but I said this guy's slow straight for now how am I struggling so much? Now slow strafing is this thing that happens on PC a lot and it you have to get the muscle memory right to get into the sniper scope, otherwise you strafe left and right like you're moving in third person really slow. And it's the thing that happens when people haven't really been playing on PC for that long. Now it's clear this guy knows about first person fast strafing because he's been doing it quite a bit, but for some reason he doesn't have the muscle memory or the experience to get into the fast strafe all the time. Uh, I don't know. I'm really confused. I just found it kind of weird that he had really, really good aim, but everything else about him wasn't really that good. His strafe was kind of easy to hit, and he kept accidentally getting into that slow strafe. He also sometimes just struggles to pull out a sniper. Uh, yeah, maybe just a new player with really good aim. 
the rest of the 1v1 isn't really that interesting. Yeah, all of a sudden just got goddamn this fucking go voice. Kind of gives up at the end. So the rest of the 1v1 is going to go on my second channel. So go check that out.